In today's session, we're going to be learning how to use the citation tool in Google Docs and add information regarding the resources that we use for any of our papers. So we're going to start by coming over here to the tool menu. Click on that and it'll get a drop down menu here and just a few options down we have a citations tool. So we're gonna click on that. And over here to the right, the citation tool will open. We are going to use the default MLA 8th edition for our the way we set things up for our works cited page. And so we can simply click on the add citation source. Here we'll have some different options. I'm gonna, <clears throat> open this drop down box just so that you can see them, but we are going to start with the book option. So here you'll see a variety of options that we can use for sources. And under depending on which source type you choose, that will determine the accessibility of it that we would see in this drop down box. So we're staying with this first option of book. So we're going to see how we access the book, the options we have. We can access it in print. We can access it on a website or an online database. The book that I have today for the lesson is in print. So I'm going to click print. When that book's in print, um, it will have an ISBN. Or it's the number that is given to each book. It's an identification number. And you'll find that. Typically, if there is a cover on the book, uh, like a paper cover, on the back, there'll be a barcode and the numbers across the bottom or top of the barcode are the ISBN. Sometimes, for instance, the book I'm looking at today also has listed above it, it actually says ISBN with the numbers. If you don't have a paper cover, you can look in the book in the first few pages. There'll be information regarding um, the publisher and the year that it was published and so on and so forth. And on that page, you should also be able to find somewhere on that page the ISBN. So here in this field, I'm going to enter the ISBN for this uh, particular book. And I'm going to search for this information. This pulled up information from the internet. You can see it right here at the top, the title of the book, the publisher, the year that it was published, and the author information. You just want to confirm that, yes, this is the accurate book that you want used. It, it should be if it pulls any information up because <clears throat> just like a Social Security number, uh, the, an ISBN number is only associated with one specific book. So I'm going to come down to the bottom of the citation screen and click continue. It does give you some additional um, information that you could enter, but because this has our important information and down here at the bottom, title is asterisk, that's there, publisher is asterisk, that's there, the year it's published is there. Um, I was looking to see how oh, it lists the authors here. Gary Smalley, that's asterisk, so it has to be there. Michael Smalley and Robert Paul. Okay, so it lists all those authors. So everything's here that we want. So we're just simply going to click Add Citation Source. Um, that's exactly what it did right here in the Citation tool. It added the source. Okay. In this particular video, we're not going to discuss how to use these sources with parenthetical citations or the Works Cited page. We're going to save that for another session. Today, I just want to discuss with you some of the options for adding citation sources. So that was a book. Let's add another citation source. This time, we're going to add a website. So I have a website that is um, already open in my screen. 
and I'm just going to make my way there. And so I have this website that I'm getting information about elephants from. If you click your mouse in the uh, address line or where the URL is located, just click it once there, it'll automatically highlight that text. You can click Control C, which means copy, and then <clears throat> come back to your citation tool. And uh, we're going to access by website. That's the only choice we have. And here under search with a URL, we just copied the URL from the from the web page. So we're going to Control V, which means paste that information that we copied right into that text box and click search. So here we're going to see the information associated with that website. Notice there are a couple things missing, um, the published year and the contributors that may have been involved in contributing information to the article. You can go back to the web page and search that information. If you can't find it, it's perfectly fine. If you can find it, uh, then when we go to continue, you would be able to add the published year and the contributors into the information. So we're going to click continue. And notice here we can add a contributor. Um, and down here we can put a published year. We don't know what the published year of this is. And so we're going to just stick with the accessed date. So then we're gonna click add citation source. Now we have two sources that we're going to be getting information from for this paper or uh, this assignment. One more type of source that I'd like to cover with you uh, before we let you go is a Bible. Lots of Bibles don't have a lot of specific information um, on them. They oftentimes, if they don't have a paper cover, they're not going to have a barcode on them. Um, and oftentimes, Bibles are not going to have a ISBN. So let's go back up here. We're in the MLA. We're going to add citation source. We are going to, oops, I'm sorry. We're going to click book again because the Bible is a book and it is a book in print, but this time we're going to cite manually, okay? So this time what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down through here and see what we can add into the information. So I know the title of this Bible, this particular Bible, is the King James Study Bible. So I'm gonna add that, the King James Study Bible. The publisher is on a page that's inside and it's published by Liberty University. And it was published in 1988. That's the primary information that you'll need when it comes to a Bible. If you have other information, you certainly can add it in there, but that's the primary information. We're gonna add the citation source. And now you see we have three different sources, a book, a Bible that had to be entered manually, a book was entered by ISBN, and then a website that was entered by the URL. And so that's how you would add excuse me, any of your sources, you may have 10 sources for a report that you're working on. You can list them all here by continually continuing to click the add citation source and select the proper, proper source and enter the information that you have uh, in order to get that information there. Or one good thing about this citation tool that I'll mention right here is if in the end, you don't cite any information from a given source that you listed, uh, then it will notify you of that and give you the opportunity to delete that particular source. Um, so for instance, if I were you and I were creating this paper 
I would add all of my sources right here at the beginning, or as I discovered a new source, I'd come in here and I'd add an additional source so that then when I begin to um, create the paper and write it and add information, I have those sources already here in existence so that I can very easily uh, create a parenthetical citation. And we'll show you that as well as creating a works cited page in another video. That's it for today. Have a great day.